everything that you ought to know about the mucusless diet healing system. Have you heard of the mucusless diet? If you haven't, then you're going to want to check this out. If you practice the mucusless diet, you're still going to want to check this out. Stay tuned. I'm Professor Spear. I practice something called the mucusless diet healing system by Professor Arnold Errett. I've done so for over 18 years and have had the privilege of helping thousands of people transform their lives using the methods in this great, great, timeless healing system. And today I just want to talk a little bit about this in case you haven't heard about it, what it is, and why it is so effective. So first and foremost, the mucus diet was created by Arnold Errett in the early 1900s, but in the late 1800s, he had been diagnosed as in, having an incurable disease called Bright's disease, inflammation of the kidneys. And he searched high and low for a way to heal himself. And he went to all, all bunch of doctors in Europe. He went to some natural healers, but he was unable to really find true remedy until one day he started to fast. And he didn't know he was fasting. He just stopped eating. He just thought, if I'm in such pain, I'm just going to stop eating. And if I die, I die. But what ended up happening, within two weeks, he started to feel so much better. And he was able to overcome his ailments. And he felt better than ever after a couple weeks. So this activated his brilliance. And he started putting two and two together and saying, well, wait a minute. If I feel better after two weeks of not eating, and I have healed this incurable illness, then what else am I missing when it comes to the healing process with fasting? What about diet? He was into and investigating vegetarianism, which is something that people were looking into at the time. And one should note that at back then, when people use the word vegetarian, there was more of an orientation toward what we would call today or what people would identify as like vegan or plant-based, which it didn't always for everybody include the eggs and the fish and that, that weirdness. It was basically a plant, you know, uh, you know it was the original vegetarian was just plants. And so he would looked into all that and eventually started to work with other people to see, well, does it work for me? Can this help other people? And had a couple, he worked in a sanitarium. Then he ended up having his own sanitarium where he worked with thousands of people and helped them transform their lives uh, for the good where he was, they came to him oftentimes had been incurable and he worked with them, fasted them properly, got them on his mucusless diet and saved a lot of lives and so how is that relevant for us today well the rules for healing haven't changed if he can heal thousands of people back then then what are we missing now so some people get caught up in the trappings of all of the uh, you know, the, the hospital, the technical equipment and the doctors and all this stuff. And we are conditioned and programmed to respect the, the doctor really above and beyond anything. Whatever they say goes. You're not allowed to question the, uh, the doctors. The, once the diagnosis is made, that is it. And how dare you seek a second opinion? When oftentimes, you, yeah, go get a second opinion and they give you a totally different diagnosis. We won't talk too much about that because that gets off into a whole other host of problems. But essentially, this, these, these processes were around before Arnold Aird. He's just the one that brought them to light for the 20th and 21st century. And it's taken literally a hundred years really for the brilliance. I mean, that's how he was at least a hundred to 150 years ahead of his time in terms of what he was teaching, the way he was helping people and doing so in such a natural way. Uh, so if we back, back up 18 years of my life, 
I was exposed to the mucus's diet. I was like 300 pounds. Oh, had a bunch of different ailments myself. Just was really going through a lot of uh, a lot of pain that I didn't have remedy for, and I was incredibly addicted to some of the worst foods on planet Earth. So I met Brother Air, aka Willie Smart, and read the book, and I knew that the information in this book was something was like a holy grail it was this was like this secret esoteric information that i'd been searching for because i at even before getting into the diet i had been getting exposed to what people call esoteric if we can just that word esoteric is usually means outside of the mainstream or the masses consciousness not available to everybody uh where the exoteric would be something that everybody kind of has access to the mainstream society and I was getting into all this esoteric stuff. And so the mucusless diet fits, fit right in. I was like, this makes so much sense. And it makes sense that, that I would get, a, get this because I was looking for it. I was looking for that kind of information. But as I started to transform myself, I said, you know what? More people need to know about this. This diet should not be esoteric. This should not just be a handful of people that know about this. So many more people could be helped because it's simplicity. It's about the simplicity. And there's a lot of people that know about the diet, yet they still remove the simplicity. They, they go they get into all of these other things. When you talk about the Mucus's Diet Healing System, you don't have to buy a bunch of supplements. We're not selling any supplements. We're not selling you a bunch of you know herbs and things. Herbs ha or herbology has its place, but it's not the f the first and foremost thing. Because what ends up happening is people start to try to use that as a way to um, uh, basically take the place of their medicine. And so, for me, before you really get into herbology, it's smart to have a transformation of your consciousness so you're no longer looking at herbs as if they're medicine so that you're just changing and taking your uh, you know trading off your medicine so if you don't know if you haven't read the mucus diet healing system book this is <laughs> it's a public service announcement basically you check the book out so we have an annotated revised and edited version you can find links to that below uh, you can find it on Amazon, uh, but you can also find a book if if you uh, if you can't afford you know fifteen dollar book or a nine dollar download or a five dollar what if you have zero zero money you can still find the book you can listen to it on YouTube so you can get it so there's no excuse I and mean, there's there's other editions of the book that's available online there's no excuse I just want you to read the book and read it with an open mind understand that there's potential for humanity when it comes to healing is so much greater than what we've been offered the way that they the whole paradigm around healing in the hospital system all that they feed people garbage how are you expecting to heal people with especially once you know how important the role of diet is in the healing process and the power of eating or choosing not to eat the right foods when you're trying to heal when you know that it is criminal to see what they feed these folks in these hospitals and it's something that's a real pet peeve of mine that I, I get passionate about but it's so much simpler so I just encourage you check out the Mucus's Diet Healing System book. It's transformed the lives of so many people. There's a number of people that you don't even realize were into the diet because a lot of people kind of keep it private and secret. And that's been, historically, that's been a thing where people would kind of keep it quiet because it's hard to explain to people, the, the simplicity is hard to explain to people. So when you're sitting down to a meal and all you have is some fruits or fruits and vegetables people start asking a lot of questions and so a lot of people that practice the diet historically just say I'm not even talking about it I'm just gonna do this I'm a feel good I'm a I'm a look good people don't need to know what I'm doing
And so, but now I'm saying people need to know what, <laughs> what we're doing. And because as many people can hear, I mean, that's just a personal mission of mine is just have as many people start on the path of healing as possible because we can totally transform this world. We don't have to live in, uh, in, in, with internal filth in the way that we do. And as we clean up our insides, we're gonna cl we'll clean this world up. The world will follow suit. We can't do it the other way. It's not gonna work doing it the other way. We gotta do it first internally. Clean yourself up internally. That's gonna cause a chain reaction that you clean up your mind, clean up your uh, you'll start cleaning up your house. <laughs> you know, it starts. I mean, it starts there. You know, you start wanting. To, you'll want a cleaner environment. Uh, you know, you find yourself going to a park, picking up trash, throwing it away. You know, just because that's the mentality is cleanliness. But you you got to get to there. It's not a willpower thing. It's a transition thing. It's a read the book and check out the mucus diet thing. Get into the process of it get into the principles of it it's so important so i thank you for tuning in and if you would please share this video like the video uh let me know what you think down below tell me what what are some of your most things that's hardest for you about diet what are the pitfalls maybe you've tried the mucus's diet before but we're, we're unable to keep it going like tell me what are some of the things that's really holding you back from taking your health to the next level yeah <laughs> i appreciate you and right here click right here this right by the yoda head we got another video that i think you're really going to enjoy so click here and i will see you over there